Hey everyone, so I know it's basically become a meme at this point that every single YouTuber seems to be quitting in 2024, so I'm going to go ahead and put your mind at ease. That is not the case for me, the title of this video is partially clickbait. However, the truth is I'm going to be making some very significant changes to how and how often I do content on this channel, and essentially I am going to be migrating most of my activity over to Mr. Sketchhead Music, which is my music channel naturally. If you want a condensed too long than watch version, and if you see me looking at the side there, it's because I have some notes written up so I don't forget anything. If you want the condensed version, I find that type of content, i.e. making music, actually setting up cameras, lighting, doing proper videos, editing and more short form content, I find all of that much more fulfilling to make. There will be videos on here, gaming related videos, but they are essentially going to be what I want to do when I want to do it, not following any schedule or serialized content format. That's definitely the condensed version. All I can encourage is please go and subscribe to Mr. Sketchhead Music. It's sitting at like 48 subscribers. So if you want to keep up to date with me and my content, do follow me there. Uh, please also support the videos. There are like two videos up there already showing what I will be doing. If you don't want to, that's okay because there will be videos on this channel, just not very often. If you want to hear the extended reasoning for all of this, uh, stick around because I'm going to give you basically every single thought that has been leading up to this decision. So if you've been watching the channel for the last couple of months, you know that my uploads basically going after Mortal Kombat 1, after I quit Mortal Kombat 1, have been very sporadic. The reasoning was that, you know, I stopped the MK1 series and I didn't really have anything to play after it. I didn't want to go and do another Souls series because I was kind of bored of Souls at that point, And I was just not doing videos. The issue was that as the days went along and became weeks of me not recording or uploading, I sort of started to realize that I really don't miss recording and uploading videos anymore. Before, this was not the case at all. Before, whenever I had to stop because I had like a lot of stuff to do or I was away on holiday for an extended period of time, I was always like, I can't wait to jump back in and make content, you know, make some soul stuff, do, do a challenge run, edit something. And that has completely changed for me over these last couple of months. Listen, I don't think I need to tell anyone this because everybody experiences this, but I'm busy as well. You know, I work a full-time job. I have two highly energetic dogs that need a lot of attention. And you know, spending time with the dogs and doing stuff with them for me is not just like an obligation. Doing stuff with the dogs is one of my hobbies. I enjoy going on hikes, teaching them new stuff, taking them on walks. That takes up a lot of time, especially with two large energetic dogs. I also have my music, you know, I always sort of just sporadically focused on my music. I'm one of those people that's always like in loop mode. I always like get an idea, start recording something and then just abandon it and never actually finish things. I really set myself a goal for this year and towards the end of next year to get better at music production, to actually start pumping out some beats and finish stuff, learn a bit more about mixing and mastering, learn more about arrangement and actually start putting stuff out there. And you know, that takes a lot of time. I started picking up the drums again. Uh, I have like this little corner in the basement that I'm fixing up for my drum kit. I'm trying to do that or restarting that. That's taking a lot of time as well. So basically I just have a lot of stuff going on that takes up a significant portion of the remaining free time I have besides work. And you know, this is not to say that I do not enjoy gaming. Gaming is still a huge hobby of mine. In fact, I've been enjoying gaming a ton lately. I'm having a ton of fun with Street Fighter 6. I have a ton of fun with Tekken 8. I blasted through Blasphemous 1 and 2. I went for the third ending that was added as DLC for Blasphemous 1. I'm playing Metroid Prime for the nth time because I really love that game. So I completely still love gaming. It's just that I like a different type of gaming nowadays. I like more like sitting down, putting on a podcast and just chilling, you know, instead of thinking of gaming constantly as a form of content. And specifically with Souls, I've honestly started to feel like I've basically done everything possible with Souls at this point. 
everything possible with my abilities. You know, I know there are people who do the hitless runs and the all sorts of crazy rune level one, no horse, using a butter knife only, playing with my dick type runs for like Elden Ring or any of the Souls games. I don't have that type of skill. I never claim to. And with my current skill level and how long I've been doing Souls content, I feel like I've basically exhausted every possible thing to do as well. I really felt this with the recent Demon Souls playthrough, the long form one that I put out one episode of, you know, I feel like the first episode went fine, but as I was doing the second and third one, I really just started to notice that I was in a rut basically. It really felt like I've basically did these things before I was going to the same places in the same order, making the same jokes, uh, doing the same commentary. And I really just realized that, man, like I've exhausted every possible thing over the, I don't even know how many Demon Souls and streams I've done over the years. You know, I feel like there's nothing else interesting that I could provide or add to the genre. The thing is, if I invest time into a video, I want to make it the best it could possibly be. I've never been one of those people that just, you know, pumps out content for the sake of content. That's, I think, one of the real curses of how algorithms and YouTube and Twitch in general works. It just basically incentivizes people to just push content, 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 content without caring for anything. You know, I'm not that type. I don't have the time. And, you know, I don't enjoy doing that type of stuff. I'm like, if I'm going to put effort into making a video, I want it to be the best possible video it could be. Speaking of this, since I wasn't recording in January and before, I had a lot more time to focus on January for this year. January is basically a little initiative started by Cuckoo Music. And you know, the idea is to post little gems or song ideas uh, as much as possible for January. And you get some ideas out there, be creative, collab with people, etc. This year, I had a lot more focus on January because I wasn't doing YouTube. And basically, while doing that process, I realized that like, damn, I enjoy doing this way more than basically I've enjoyed making any video gaming related on this channel for like a long while. I just really enjoy making the actual music, mixing things, getting the video together, actually doing things with the lighting and the camera angles and all that. So I put a lot of effort into improving the quality of those videos and it actually gave me a lot of joy and a lot of engagement, something I haven't felt making content in quite a while at this point. That to me is a lot of fun, you know, learning about things like color grading that I really just like put effort into, or like I said, lighting, etc doing the stuff with the camera setting to actually make proper looking videos. All of that is both fun and a new experience for me and a new challenge. And I just love doing it. So to sum up the future, most of my content going forward will be on the Mr. Sketchhead music channel. Things like little jams, gear review, if I get something new, messing around in Ableton, beat ideas, you know, whatever I can. And it will be properly shot. It will be more short form content, not YouTube shorts, but shorter videos, but much more, but much better put together overall. Like I said, there are already two videos on there that will give you an idea of what type of content will be up there. As for this channel, I want to emphasize again, I am not quitting. Essentially, the type of content going forward on here will be whatever I want to make a video on whenever I get the idea. To give you a great example, Things like the year-end lists are not going away. I will be doing a little topic or rant or discussion video every once in a while. Like that previous one I did about Mortal Kombat 1, which was also my Tekken 8 review. I had that idea. I wrote the script in like an afternoon. I recorded it and edited it the next day. And I had great fun and I just put it out there and I'm really proud of that video. That is the stuff that is the type of stuff I want to make, but again, it's not going to follow any sort of serialized content or any sort of time schedule going forward. Like I said, this is the type of change I feel like I just have to make at this point. I enjoy the music stuff and the music videos way more. Still enjoy the gaming content. There will be stuff. In fact, I am going to be probably recording some Tekken 8 stuff going forward. Ed is also coming out for Street Fighter 6 soon. I'll be checking him out. So yeah, this channel is not dead, but there is going to be way different content on here with way different frequency. 
I definitely won't miss out on Shadow of the Earth Tree when that comes out in like 2035 at this point. So yeah, again, all I can say is I hope you guys stick to uh, the Mr. Sketchhead music stuff. Check out the channel. You don't have to subscribe, but do check it out and decide if that's the type of stuff you would be interested in. If you don't follow me there, I really appreciate it and appreciate the general support as always. And like I said, you will be seeing me around here every once in a while. So yeah, and if you just decide to stay on here or if you stop watching, that's completely fine as well. I completely understand that. Not everybody wants to keep up with a YouTuber who posts very infrequently. Completely understand. Anyways, this is the type of change I just have to make or I feel like I have to make. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Again, if you did enjoy, check out Mr. Sketchhead Music. Spread the word on this video as well, as well as, you know, whatever else you want to do. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care and peace out. Goodbye.